Nah. I'm with Ethan. <laughs> okay, you little bitch. Where the fuck are you? In the guy with your wife, by the looks of it. Have I got anything? <laughs> no, oh no. We came, okay. Ethan's mindset right now. He has come all this way, been through what we've been through, and it was for nothing. Because his wife, as it stands, is still in that ship. And potentially dead anyway. So all of this was for nothing. Which is why I'd probably rather just go, to be honest. <laughs> I'm meant to swim. Ah, oh, there we go. Can we go a bit faster? Poor Ethan. <sighs> February 18, 1892, there was a collapse in the Patterson mine. Tawan and Beckford are dead and Huxley will never walk on his own again. Old man Stan was right, the ground there is too unstable. The company's not going to send us any replacements. They want us to work double shifts instead. I can't wait to get back to the old country. Abercrombie Salt Mine. Are they watching us from that helicopter? Alpha One, this is Bravo One. Do you read? This is Alpha One. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. A skirmish? Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports using the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat, shoot to kill. Honestly, that should have been the first order back when this all started on the ship. You've taken me as things. Well, now I'm a thief as well. Right. Okay, we got five. <laughs> could be better, could be worse. Right, where's my nice... Never got to use my grenade launcher. I'm taking everything, if <laughs> you noticed. I've got two knives. Which one's better? That's a folding knife. Okay. never got all the treasure I completely forgot to look at the rest of the house I'm a little upset about that 
I wanted to try and get everything. G17 handgun. Standard power from the wreck ship. Do I need a flamethrower? I mean, honestly, do I, I don't know what I need. I've got no chem fluid. At all. Got gunpowder. Okay, so I can't make health. Enhanced handgun. That's it. Okay. So everything else can go back in. Should I carry the herb just in case? I might. Indecisive, what can I say? Right, what can we buy? Nothing. Literally nothing. There was only that gun left and I don't have enough for that. Oh, the sadness. Do I need that? Ship, swamp, lab. Got fifteen enhanced ammunition. There's loads of them. Okay. I'll see the other one. Most of my ammunition. <laughs> okay. Cute. And my best one was wasted on a box. I think we're reaching the final stretch. Nice. May I? Okay.
No, oh, not these ones. Ooh, that felt good though. Oh no! I always see it too late. I always see it too late. They're giving me <laughs> loads of health. <laughs> I wonder why. Was that even worth anything? No. Behind me? Yeah. I didn't take the shotgun. Oh, I'm an idiot, aren't I? Never mind. Is what it is. <sighs> Behind me. I'm not liking this. These bullets are so satisfying. Enhanced ammo is the way. <laughs> That's all I can say. Just in case. I don't even care at this point. <laughs> I'm seeing the finish line and I'm going for it. Lucas! I need to remember who the freaking person is here because... Yep, that's definitely needed after my recent experience. Although, chem fluid is also needed. Is there any? No? Steroids, yes please. Thanks to you guys, it's been a week since my head's been clear and back to normal and she still thinks she's got me. really need to work on fixing that not only does she look like a little kid but she's about as stupid as one too mom and dad are still totally under though i was wondering is this whole family obsession something this guy's programmed into her it's kind of effed up
Mia's still somewhere in between Evie La La Land and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since Mia's her favourite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia's her mummy. Like I said, your bio weapon is effed up. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more a-holes off the street to add to her freak show. Maybe she's getting tired of me and not coming around, but it's a pain in the A for me because I gotta clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin's getting all wrinkly and she's getting grey hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. Interesting. E001. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, I do love a good reveal. And he's not even under. E necrotoxin. E series dosage test. Five minutes after dose, vomiting. Who is that? I'll get acquired. Destroy cells of any subject based on the E-Series bioweapon model, used only for disposal of E-Series assets. The toxin must first be sim stimulated before use. Do this by placing a sample of the E-Series cells into the ne necrotoxin container. Wow, seven pages. Okay. This project was instigated in 2000 as one of several concepts for the company's next bass initiative, working with technical assistance from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants en masse with minimal direct contact. Next bass was later folded and all its assets diverted to this project. What makes this project markedly different from conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies converting hostile elements into willing servants. Since this effectively eliminates the costs of not only power handling, but also combat itself, it's no wonder we had the, and even, organisation chomping at the bit to get on board. The product would never have existed were it not for the discovery in, of, the remarkably progressed vicarian evolution fungus that we commonly termed the mutamycete. Yeah, I remember that. The fabrication method for each bioweapon was to introduce the mutamycete genome to a pre-stage 4 human embryo and perform cultivation in a controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. The resultant organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and graded based on usability from the impractical and faulty. Series A through D to the imperfected E, a common appearance was selected for the bioweapons, that of a roughly 10-year-old girl, to ensure ease of blending in with urban refugee populations. The first E-series specimen, named Evelyn, has proven capable of secreting the mutamycete from her tissue at will. It is also of note that Evelyn's mutamycete imposes a profound control over body and mind when introduced into a host. We still have a lot to learn about this mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to a uh, auto-inducer pheromones used for quorum sensing in Pseudomonas bacteria. Pseudomite, okay. Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she is not in fact there, and even hear her voice, which is unaudible to anyone else. Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal that at first, the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. The psychological shock this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect, and by the time mental control is achieved, the mutamycete infection has progressed throughout the body's cells, so the body... Dun, dun, dun. 